Mm -hmm. All songs is pretty much built off of that scale. And all scales are built off of that scale. All your other scales that you ever played mm -hmm. is built off that scale. So, so you know the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? If, if you can practice singing that song or just playing it, you're playing all the notes in the major scale. So. What I tell students to do so their ear can hear what the major scale sounds like the numbers. Here it is. So, like, if I put the numbers in this sequence, one, one, five, five, six, six, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one. Once you can do that, you move to any, any that was in B flat, I move to G, do the same thing. So let's let's pick one of those songs. Like you take a Wagon wheel. You know we did wagon wheel, so we played that in D. So I move back here to D. So so the first chord is D. And so it's one, two, five, six, four. One, two, five, six, four. That's what you're doing up here. So you're going one. songs in those boxes. Mm -hmm. So here's your one, here's your five, six, and here's your four. So that's wagon wheel. Spell it right. So wagon wheel, but we're playing in the key of D. So what chord would this be? D. A, B, A, G. Mm -hmm. Now that's, you might be wondering why is the number it's important? Because if I told you, if we, you know how I be, can you switch keys? So if I was, if you were playing this, like, uh, oh, that's in D. So if you're in D and you're playing this. D, A, G. And if I told you to change it to the key of C, you have to think C, G, A minor, F. But if, if you learn what the numbers are, then when you see the shape on the fretboard, or if I tell you to take it from D, which will be here, to C, all you gotta do is just move to C, find your first chord, and then follow the same pattern. You know how I'll be telling you, I said, just follow the same pattern once you move to another key. I said, the same pattern. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, the pattern. So it, it's much easier to learn. If you learn songs in numbers, It'll take like light years of practice off of your playing. Because if if I were to tell you to learn songs like most music, most teachers teach students to learn in all your scales and all your keys, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be spending months trying to remember how many sharps is in every single key. But if you learn the numbers and then the numbers going to follow a certain shape on the guitar, you, you don't have to think about all your, it's like 30 keys in music. Really, twelve of them. You, you do all the majors and minors. With it's, um, it was actually fifteen majors and fifteen minors. Put all of them together and think about how much that takes five years to learn up to memorize all of those sharps. This scale only has two sharps, but the G scale has one sharp. The A scale has three sharps. The E scale has four sharps. The B scale has five sharps. The the F sharp scale has six sharps. 
see how much information that is. But it's easy for me to just show you a major scale in numbers like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So think of it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think it's that way. So, like from here, this is one. Actually, I don't need to do that because it's already written out. So remember, we said whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, right? Whole, whole, half. So from your one to your two is a whole. From your two to your three is a whole. From three to four is a half step. From four to five is a half step. From six, half. Six to seven is half. Seven to one is a half. So think of it like this. Three and four and seven and one is always a half step apart. If you can remember that, you got it. That's the secret right there. So, three and four to half step, seven one to half step. All right, so you know what half step is, right? So play a pick, play, give me a C major scale. You can start on any string. I'm gonna find your C. That's it. So play a major scale. So call out the numbers while you're playing it. Uh, one. About this system, work the same way on a on an electric guitar or acoustic guitar or piano or organ or any instrument. <clears throat> if you can play bass or if you can play guitar, you can as long as you know the the, the, the recipe or the formula. You can play anything. All music, all those songs we just played is built off of that major scale right there. You see what I'm saying? So I didn't play a song that won't built off of this foundation. We just talking about the D, but we place another scale with this D right here. All of it works the same way. So I'm going to do a, a C scale. So this is the D scale right here. I'm going to go on right here. Here's the C scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. 
So remember D was one in the key of D, but now we're in the key of C. So what's what number is C? C is one. D is two. E is three. Is there there's no sharps in this one? No sharps in C. Oh, okay. yeah. Um G is five, A is six. These seven, these one. Mm -hmm. All right, so remember we played this song. So what I want you to do is play this song right here. So in the, if we think it in the key of D, wagon wheel is in D. So what chord is this? C. We're in the key of D. Uh, D. D. Right. One D. What's five? A. Right. And then what's six? B. And what's four? G. Okay. So, you see how that works? So, so I, one is always with a, a letter. You always yeah, start from that letter and then go... To depending one. on what key you're in. Yes, right. if you're in the key of D, then D is one. Right. So, what you're doing is... All right, so, so, what I'm doing here... Actually, I'm going to play the guitar. Since we're thinking in chords. Alright. So, if I'm playing D... D is one. A is five. B is uh, six, and then what's one is four? G. So, so here's the wagon wheel. So we call that a chord. So, so that one D. G will be five, and then um, six is A, and four is is uh, and here C is F. So see, we're playing one, five. No, I'm sorry, one, five, six, four. One, five, six, four. So now I'm playing C right here. <laughs> applies to any key that you're in but the best thing to do I wouldn't even worry about C right now don't let that confuse you just if you can think if you can train yourself to think in the key of D all you have to remember is like that D has two sharps F sharp and C sharp G has I mean C has zero sharps make sense or right. do, do you think you pretty much have this formula memorized yeah. Ho ho half ho 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 half. If I erased it, you, you can still remember that. Yeah. All right. So. Wait, you mean 